Hi, welcome. I said I'd uh, make a video. I have to do some machining today, some CNC machining on the stainless parts. I have to make some of. Try there. I did up a sketch, something like that. They're a stainless part. Um, I did one just to set up the lathe. And they come out like that. So you have an external thread, an internal thread. 1.6mm pitch inside, 1 1.5 outside. Uh, I think they're going on the brewery or something like that. So I said I'd show you the lathe running. Um, I've just taken a facing cut just to square off and measure and set uh, the lathe. So I'll set it up now. 49.9 uh, is the X diameter, or the total outside diameter. Just give it about 0.1mm clearance for a thread to run on, because if it was 50 and the internal thread was also 50 then you have an interference um, and it's going back to minus 54 mil she'll stop and she'll pull out uh, 0.2 mil and 0.4 mil for X and Z just to give clearance and stop any chatter when it uh, reaches the end of its path so turn it on on the on this lady the Alpha uh, Alpha 400 S the Harrison I can set my speed anywhere, it's, um, it runs from an inverter, so it's not like gears, which would be the old, so I can adjust down. <coughs> and you can see the, the speed running there, 800, something like that, 50 mil. Yeah, 650, something like that. So I'll pull back. Set into the final stuff. It's only point one mil, so that for as we call it will fly off and break apart and it's Normally I'd be doing this with the guard closed. So that's the first point. Just want to that stuff. Cut number two. Let's see what to show you. Uh, operation number two, the next one is we're going in 20 mil and we're cutting to 47 and a half so that's that diameter 47 and a half going in 20 mil and that's so I don't have to thread the whole 35 mil in um, that hatched area there is going to be threaded it's just an easier way of drawing it um, so we'll set it going there because I'm going to be taking a bit of meat off. I'm going to put on the coolant. Coolant pump on. Operation number two, two one, still two one. running in, it's not worth writing a program for this, so I'm just going in a couple of minutes at a time. See, she stopped there and came back at 19.8, put it back to uh, I 
I'll leave the last cut at 0.1, it just gives it a nice finish rather than taking here a half a millistone small, but it's nice to have a finishing pass on something. So there's going to be a bit of a burr right there. You can see it there. So I'm going to bring in another tool just for a chamfer on that and to give the thread to start something on. Because if I start with a thread straight on that, the thread is going to start at a point and it's going to be very brittle and could possibly um, start binding up. So I'll just change tooling and I'll start again. Then. Okay, so I'll take off a parting tool. Now we're going to bore out the inside for the internal thread, so boring bar. the inside done. So I could run a faster feed in it, I'm only running 0.18 feed rate which is 0.18 millimetres per revolution of the chuck but finish is more important than speed on this job. So now we'll run the outside outside thread. And the goal is a stainless nut. That's to run a relatively slack fit um, for the 15 millimeters of thread that I'll produce on that. Um, so I can switch over. I don't have to do this in manual now. Um, I can switch it over to just a mini program for threading on it, um, and it comes out exact every time and it should be perfection. It's, it's nice to watch. I'll bring it in closer so you can see. So the good thing about doing threading like this is the exit point is exactly the same and I mean exactly the same on each pass 
Um, I put this in about 14 passes. Again, finish is critical on this, so uh, I'm going slow. You could do this, you could do that pass in, or that thread in five passes easily, but you'd see some uh, tiny vibration marks which you may not take out in the last pass. So compared to threading in the OLED, which is that, I still use it, um, which is no lingers, to this is a bit different. So it's nice and smooth, no vibration. It's getting near the end now, so I'm just going to put a bit of concentrated cutting fluid on it. That's it. So we'll blow it off with air. Zoom in and you can see that. So back out, check the check the knot that was supplied. Perfection. Exactly what I like. So now we'll do the inside thread. <coughs> I'll set you up again because I need to change change tooling. So there's our internal threading. Everything is indexable, and on that parrot tool post, um, it's guaranteed to be less than 0.1 of a mil when you take it out and put it back in. It's really, really accurate. So I'll bring it close, change program, 2.5. Operation 5 thread internal. Um, I'm just going to put some cutting fluid on for this and coolant. Clearing swarf. Um, if your tool is blunt, your swarf is sharp, and vice versa. Um, I know my tools are sharp, and if it was bigger stuff, then I'd pull it out with the hook. I wouldn't. I wouldn't grab it with my hands. So I blow that with air. <coughs> So it's actually impossible to realign that exactly if I took it out from the chuck. So it must be perfect before you take it out. So I've made a little gauge. Perfect. Nice fit, not rattling. I can part that off. So. Uh, 
on a parting tool. Zero. It needs to be fifty mil long. So, uh, party two needs cooling. And when I get close to the end, I'm going to put something in there just to catch the piece that it doesn't fall off because it could bounce here and get knocked off one of the jaws and you're going to put a ding in it so it's actually quite safe to do because by the time it falls off it's no longer attached and it just falls off simply There we have the part. So that's where it parted off. So now we'll go to the other lathe. I'll take that off. Chamfer there and chamfer internal. And that's the part complete. So over to. So I'll set up with the soft jaws and the three jaw chuck. So all I want to do is take any sharp edges off So that's it, part complete. From a drawing, like that, to the finished part, like that. So I'll give it a blast of air, give it a clean. And that's it. Absolutely lovely. So I said some of you guys might be interested in seeing some of the lathe work and some of the other things I do. So I said I'd make a video and throw it up. Um, I'm doing some plasma cutting, some CNC profile cutting, oh, might be tomorrow, uh, certainly later on in the week. So I'll run a video with that and show you what goes into making that, how it works. Um, so it's my main my main work really is is profile cutting and CNC turning. Now lads used to go on about before in the old days about a tau, um, and they're talking about a tau of an inch. So things have moved on a bit. Uh, that's millimeter. She's moving point one of a millimeter, one hundredth of a millimeter, one thousandth of a millimeter. Um, it's an extremely accurate machine, um, but 
you have to be careful what you do it you can't dog a lathe like that and then expect it to come back and do precision work for you um, so I take my time that I look after it and it keeps going so I also have old lathe and really I just use that for um, uh, deburring, chamfering and some basic stuff um, an old mill uh, she's Reed and Prentice really really old but huge castings really really stable um, and just a manual mill and I digitalized uh, the readout on it so I can use it for that but I don't do much milling work it's uh, bolt hole stuff like that um, so that's it thanks for watching now when we're making parts on the the lathe some people have an idea that you just put a piece of steel blank steel into your lathe press a few buttons and the part pops out but what you've seen there is um, five different tooling set up uh, I made a part originally and checked all the tolerances at, and so the few minutes it took probably five minutes to make it on the lathe there's stuff that went on before um, behind the scenes which you won't see and people don't always appreciate so um, that's why uh, CNC machining costs what it does because if you're doing if you're doing a couple of hundred parts or a thousand parts it is brilliant it'll do repeatability is excellent in it and it's faster but the initial setup is um, where the time comes into it